Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. This is Ram Nation News. I'm Trey Allen, and this is Gabe Bocott. Here we go. Upton, the 6th U.S. House of Representatives, will be speaking to our U.S. history students. He is here today. We will also be visited by Beth Griffin on May 18th, George Franklin on May 22nd, and Daniel Selber on May 23rd. Okay. On Thursday, the choral group will be dismissed from class at 11.45 from the National Day of Prayer Ceremony at the City Hall. They should return to class at 1.15. Seniors, there are a lot of scholarships available to help you towards college tuition. Many scholarships have zero or one applicant, so there is a great chance you will be selected to win free college money. Many scholarships have short application processes. You can check in the Student Success Center or you can check online. Congratulations to Avery Daughtry, Jesse Ford, and Maddox Euclid who were awarded entry in Naval or Maritime History in the Senior Division of History. Hope you have your dresses and your suits together because this Saturday, May 5th, is prom. Ninth and 10th grade students, be prepared to take NWEA testing on Tuesday, May 8th, Wednesday, May 9th, and there will be block scheduling on those two days. Seniors, your exams will be on May 23rd and May 24th. You have 19 school days left. Also, June 1st will be graduation practice and June 3rd will be the day of graduation. Congratulations to the robotics team for placing 7th in Worlds. Now we're going to cut to a clear cut news video from the competition. to clear cut. The city of Detroit is geeking out this week. Tens of thousands of kids from around the world who could someday have a huge influence on your life are competing in the Robotics World Championships. Correspondent Andy Rosgen takes us there. In a cavernous arena with ravenous fans, eagle-eyed referees, and a ring announcer who gets everyone ready to rumble, the athletes come parading out, prepared to fight to the death, or as long as their circuits hold out. For proudly geeky robotic students from around the world, this is as big as it gets. This is a little overwhelming almost. It was Dean Kamen, the guy who invented the Segway scooter and the insulin pump, who created FIRST in the early 90s. That means for inspiration and recognition of science and technology. Because he wanted kids to idolize innovators as much as they do celebrities and athletes. It, it goes to show that just because you're the nerd doesn't mean you're not... Uh, to go anywhere in life. It means it shows that you are going to be the one going somewhere in life. Under the first program, which started out as small local high school robotics competitions, have ballooned into these annual World Robotics Championships. 15,000 students worldwide had to qualify to get here. 700 teams, each with their own robot, designed to be as dexterous as possible, to put as many yellow cubes in just the right spots as quickly as they can. This one is Big Bad Judy from the team of South Haven, Michigan. And here in the pit area, she gets tune-ups in between matches. And the kids get just a little closer to your future. 
So can you think of a single industry today that doesn't use the work of engineers or technologists or IT people? That's what we're growing, along with business leaders, too. These annual championships keep outgrowing their venues. The Cobo Center here in Detroit is the largest one ever. And it's not surprising that Michigan has the most number of teams entered. Six years ago, Michigan's governor happened to catch a local competition and was blown away. And he came and he said, how can I help you get this into every single school in the entire state? And we told him. So state grant money poured in. Major industries jumped on board with support. And local universities are showing up here as well with robotic eye candy for the kids. It must be very inspiring for these uh, kids to be able to come here, be total geeks, and have people appreciate you being a geek, okay? And that was not true when I was a young man, that, that's for sure. So it's the revenge of the nerds, right? It's totally revenge of the nerd. Yes, they'd love to see more kids of color jump into robotics, and girls too. Although many teams do have just as many girls who handle team marketing and competition scouting. Either way, whether you're fascinated by a robotic future or frightened by it, you better make good friends with these kids and their mechanical mayhem. We're the ones who are going to basically run the world eventually. Andy Rosen, I-24 News, Detroit. I'm Trey. This is Gabe. Have a great day.